are the bride and groom. I thought the receiving line was going to be here at the church. Mom and Jason wouldn't just take off, would they? No, they're clearly not here. So the question is, where'd they go? <laughs> well, don't let us interrupt. Hey, no fair sneaking up on us. We're newlyweds, remember? Yeah, we know that. Everyone's out there waiting for you. That's why Michael and I came to find you. Well, I promised the church secretary that I would clear out of here, so I need to get started. Mm. Hey, remind me, is, is the bride's job to clean up the dressing room, or does she have people for that? I don't know if she has people, but she has a maid of honor and a best man, mm, and not, that sounds like a job for them. Not to mention that the uh, wedding planner is going to have a major breakdown <laughs> if you deviate from her schedule any longer. Sounds like we're being kicked out. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, all kidding aside, thank you both so much for standing up for us and making this day so special. Now it's special for us, too. Oh, I love you so much. I'd say welcome to the family, but you're already a part of it. <laughs> I'll take it anyway. <laughs> I'll get in there, too. All right. All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right enough hugs. Yeah. Get out there. OK, come on. OK. Bye. <laughs> Come on, Josh, people are waiting. Oh, I know. Well, I was just thinking, you know, most of my friends don't believe in marriage. And, you know, that makes complete sense. I mean, mom's been divorced, my dad's been divorced, Trina's parents are divorced, Cam's mom's divorced. But I don't know, just seeing mom and Jason be so excited to commit to each other, I just, I find it so refreshing and encouraging? Or am I just being hopelessly naive? <laughs> I would use a lot of words to describe you, Jocelyn, but naive, it's not one of them. Well, you know, the whole notion that everybody just gets one great love in their life. I mean, if that was the case, I, I already had Oscar. So does that mean I'm just gonna be alone for the next 60 years? Is that what the universe wants? Justin, I can't imagine any universe would want you to be alone for the rest of your life. Well, what about you and Willow? I mean, I know the first time you guys got married, it was to secure custody of Wiley, but I mean, would you guys get married again? But this time, because you're in love? I don't, I don't, I don't look, I don't wanna get ahead of things, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely a possibility. Oh, this is such a happy day. <laughs> all right, all right, let's get out there. We don't want to miss what happens next. Okay, okay. 